right, we are starting off the show with an interview that Miss V did of Jackie Chandiru, the gold digger, it maker. Without wasting time, let's roll it. We have the one and the only queen of the Nile, as she puts it, the only queen of the Nile, Jackie. I'm sure most of you know her from Blue 3, the famous song. Eh, mbona <laughs> nangoa. The famous song, I'm not a gold digger. And she is right here with us for the first time on Group Vine. Jackie, how are you? I'm okay, how are you doing? How have you been? I've been amazing. It's been a long time coming. I know, I know, I know, but I'm glad that I'm here finally. Mm -hmm. So now people know you, uh, or knew you from Blue Dream. You guys are no longer together from yeah. way back. Could you just give us just something small about what happened, why you guys are no longer working together, and you were a forced to record? Um, it's, uh, it, it, it's more like um, at that time, the, whatever happened, one of us was just misguided. But uh, it didn't turn out for the bad because uh, she's doing well as well. And um, I can't say we no longer work together. We have something in store. Now you're back and you're here in Kenya for the first time after a very long time. What should you expect from me? Like I said before, I'm annoyed. This is the first stage I'm hitting, like um, literally the stage this big is the first one that I'm hitting in a very long time. So I'm going to give it to you. If it is too much for you, stand up and walk out. That's just it. Are you planning on collaborating with any Kenyan artists at the moment? Yes, I, I know you've worked with some. Are you planning on? Working? Yeah. Um, I already did something with Arab Boy, and um, there's more who are coming. That, that, that one I can assure you. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to, to let the cut out of the bag that easy. Um, Maybe the sneak peek, maybe something, Kidum, I don't will. Um, yeah. But Jackie, there was a time the media was so on your case, mm. you know? And um, there's actually a media house that mentioned that you were dead yeah. sometime. Was it in last year or something? Yeah, last year. Yeah, someone said that you were dead. Yeah. Tell us about that. No, it's, it's, it's just plain simple. I can't go into details, but I, 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 it was addiction that um, caused that. And that's what took me like off the scene for a while. So I had to first heal, um, and and you know a person who is re re uh, healing from addiction is not recovered, is recovering because it goes on for a long period of time. So I'm a recovering addict to a prescription drug called pethadine, and uh, the reasons as to why they thought I was dead is because I just went MIA. I wasn't speaking to people, so people assumed I was dead and assumed the worst for me. So unfortunately, or fortunately. Since I'm here, I'm just happy to start like my, my new life from Nairobi, Kenya. There are photos of you we saw when you were struggling with your addiction. Yes. Someone who's seeing you right now, Mama, hey, what are you doing? You don't even look old, like you look very fine. <laughs> well, for, 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 for starters, there's, there's, um, I needed treatment, like a lot of, of, of treatment, surgeries and stuff like that. But um, the one thing I believe that saved my life is uh, it's a product called STC30 from Super Life World Kenya. And that's what literally brought me back on my feet. It, it worked on my skin, it did everything. I didn't have to do like extensive surgery I had to do. So that being there and uh, the people that are close to me and important to me, giving me the, the, the um, mafuta, it's a gut, maf I don't know what you can call it, to, yeah, to, to, to go on and just to do my thing, that's just it. Um, this is uh, there's one thing that most artists struggle with, especially after they get the fame and all that. You know, you are so, as in, you, you can easily access different kind of drugs and all that, and you can easily just, uh, you know, get into um, addictions or yes. different kinds of drugs. Yes. What would you tell an artist? What would you tell some of the artists who are starting up and they are still new in this game and they are overexcited with all this fame that they get? 
Um, everything, all, all kinds of temptations are going to come with fame. That's what they need to know. Whether it's a, a addiction, the thing about addiction, it doesn't have to be it, like strictly to drugs. It can be to pornography, it can be to anything. You can be addicted to anything. So in this kind of business, any kind of addiction is going to come up or any kind of temptation is going to come up, which can lead to something bad. So they just have to be on their tenterhooks 24-7, that's it. Find up what's next for Jackie for a fan who, who has been a fan from way back. What should they expect from you going forward? Maybe an EP, album? Album, definitely. Album is coming. I'm working on the album and I'm more than happy to be working with, with uh, people and producers from here, then others from Germany, different countries basically. This I want, it to, I want it to be the one album that people will remember me for, not just being a gold digger. Mm -hmm. But this one, musically, I want them to remember me for this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your message to the Kenyan fans? Oh, I would like to say a big thank you so very much because um, you are amazingly, I'm not from here, but you are the one people that have stood by me 